What do you think of yourself will be the single most important feat that will influence the rest of your life forever, ever, that you can ever accomplish? It's not just what you think of yourself. It's also why you think of yourself the way you do. Most of the cases, how we see ourselves is based on a fragmented identity that we picked up from some sort of trauma in the past. Trauma caused by one of our human needs in order to, to feel safe and secure. One of our human needs to, to feel that we belong. One of our human needs to feel that we have the safety to express ourselves fully. Problem is, when these needs are not being met, and if we're being traumatized as children, then we, we develop an identity to compensate for these needs. We develop an identity in order to, to meet the dissonance we think is needed from the other side. Now, in simpler, clearer terms, what I'm saying is, if I am a child with an angry parent, I am going to think that I am doing something wrong. Okay, the blame parts, the pointing finger parts, the it's your fault parts, only develops as this front part, the prefrontal cortex, as that part develops. Current research shows that that only develops between ages 22 and 25. So it's physically not possible for us as young human beings to process this information of what is fucking happening in our environments. Where does this lead? This leads to I have to. If I don't, it's my fault. This is where it leads to. At least to me thinking I have to do something in order to be loved. I have to be something in order to be worth something as a human being. I have to be like this because my father said that this is what a woman is. I have to do that because my mother showed me that this is what a man is. All of these are fragmented identities that does not even belong to us. Other people's version of roles because they were going through a shit time. It has nothing to do with you. Shed your skin. Take off that coat. Create yourself. This is a process. It's a process we go through by looking at all of the information, everything that happened in your whole life, not just isolated events, because if we don't put the whole picture together, inevitably we will still have dark spots. Now, the way that your brain works is it wants to fill in the gaps. If it can't fill in the gaps, what happens? This is why trauma is so powerful. Because if that loop is not closed, we reset to our physiological reaction. We reset to the pain that is still stored physically in our bodies. We reset into animals, just feeling, no thinking, no mature, rational, emotional thinking anyways. Be kind to yourself. Be mindful of how you talk to yourself. And be aware of what you think of yourself. Take care. <laughs>